Badger's gonna get chewed up anyway, so this allows us, we have no viewers right now, so no, I'll tell you when you got a viewer. Okay, tell me when you got a viewer and then I can do an intro. Yep. Okay, watch out, there's a van coming. Yeah, this road is not blocked off. <clears throat> okay, cool. We got two viewers. Okay, welcome to Don't Talk TV live feed. We are on our way back down to Parliament Hill from our Airbnb after a little pit stop to recharge uh, all of our batteries and our devices, which are just getting murdered by the cold, yep. and uh, to defrost ourselves a little bit. So. I believe, if I've uh, got the batting order correct, uh, Dr. Hodkinson is going to be giving a speech uh, in just a few minutes, so we're heading down so that we can stream his speech. I'm sure it'll be excellent. He's always, uh, always a ball of fire and backed up by some very serious scientific and medical knowledge. Uh, then Corporal Bulford, who used to be on uh, Prime Minister Trudeau's protection detail and is... Uh, since resigned from the RCMP, he's giving the speech after that. And the third, is it Dr. H is it Dr. McCullough after that, or Dr. Malone, who's after I Bulford? I, do, I believe it's McCullough, yeah. I think it's Dr. McCullough after uh, Corporal Bulford. Well, I checked the agenda. I just kind of just for, I've forgotten. <laughs> the the it's either Dr. Malone or Dr. McCullough. Either way, a heavy hitter. So I know a lot of viewers were looking forward to seeing a speech from me at the podium, but just looking through the list of people that they've got, they've got a lot of people who are a lot more... <laughs> I'm not sure the word I'm looking for, but... Or, well, heavier hitters than myself anyway, so uh, I'm more than happy to have people hear from them than from me. Yeah, <laughs> so we're two blocks away and you can hear the bass. Yep. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just, I keep thinking every time I see the, those police just sitting in their car all day. That's got to be simultaneously the the best gig and the worst gig, because <laughs> some pretty easy overtime. But man, that'd be boring just sitting in your car all day like that. I'm sure they'd rather hope be doing real police work. Hey guys. Hi. Well, you can film the dog, Richard. Richard's a major dog lover, so... Gorgeous, got a... gorgeous yeah. pup. Can I, can I pet him? Yeah. Now that... Yes. Hi, Goss. He's cold and tired. <laughs> Hi, Goss. Hi, how are you? Oh, you're gorgeous. I have a 90 pound at home. Yeah. You know, little guy, love him. Got a lab at home, too. Beautiful. <laughs> a little oh. smaller. A little smaller, he's yeah. a horse. My kids could, our kids could ride him, Nicholas. Yeah, yeah. almost, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Have a good day. Right. He's a horse. Love him. Yes, I'm a dog guy, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, that's alright. Oh, someone said hi to Goss, thanks. <laughs> that's alright, Richard, you're allowed to be a dog guy. Hey. Now, if you're a cat person, then you'd, you'd be fired, and I'd be looking for a new <laughs> well, a new PR person. A new vo a volunteer position. Right? Yeah, you can fire volunteers. Yeah, you can fire volunteers. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> as as COVID-19 has proved, proved to us, you can fire anyone you darn well want to fire. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Well, so. you, you can if they're unjabbed. Yeah. I'm sure if you fired someone just because you didn't like their skin color or you didn't like who they live with or something, I, that might cause you some trouble still right. in Canada 2022. Yeah, but, cool. well, that said, I, I'm still quite confident that, um, that when these things finally get to courts, that courts will find um, wrongful dismissal in Absolutely. cases where people are terminated for declining, I don't say refusing, but declining a medical treatment that was nowhere mentioned in their contract. I mean, no one's employment contracts 
before this had anything in there about how you have to take medical treatment as prescribed by your employer. Since when do police drive Dodge Orions? <laughs> Yes, that's right. Thank you. I love your channel. <laughs> okay, we're live streaming. You're, 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 you're live. Stre we're live streaming. Okay, to be on on that's camera. Right. That's yeah, all right. For sure. yeah. But thank you for you your channel friend. and uh, explaining a lot of aspects okay. to us. Well, thank thank you for watching. Way to go. Oh, thank I you for watching. watching. I just don't have enough because they're short videos. So yeah. Just their mark. Well, thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank work. you very much. Yeah. Thank you guys. What's the this uh, it's second the flag? flag? Oh really? Okay. Yeah. I didn't know. Uh, we're, we're residents of the city, and we want to say the media is going to claim that it's so one-sided that Ottawa citizens don't like it. Of course, I see there are quite a few people in Ottawa who don't like the protests, but there are just as many who do uh, appreciate the truckers being here and want them to stay as long as it takes to get these mandates out. Amen. 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 Th th thank you. Thank you for sharing that, and thank you for being here and support. Yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Take care. Okay, great. Thanks. You too. I'll see you, Absolutely. Thank you. <coughs> that was awesome. Don't talk to me. That was. <laughs> and I'm glad I'm still uh, I'm still recognizable despite my Russian agent <laughs> hat, which was bought for me by Vladimir Putin himself. <laughs> Because as I was mentioning uh, this to Richard the other day, unfortunately the proof that I'm a Russian agent is out there because uh, viewers, uh, uh, looking at the analytics for Don't Talk TV, 83.7% are from Canada, another 10% and change are from the US, and 0.1% from Russia. So, I mean, there, there you have it. Yeah, I, I'm caught. Yep. It would be nice though if the Russians did pay me to to do my content. Uh, just in seriously, I'm actually not a Russian agent. I just have good taste in hats. But um, yeah, unfortunately, that'd be a nice additional income stream. But no, no one's offered me that yet. Although I, I find the whole Russian agent thing just so weird. Like, really, you think Russians? You think the Russian government really thinks it's to their benefit to promote freedom and democracy in Canada? Right. I mean, I don't know if that's Russia's interests, then but Russians are more in favor of us than in our own government. I, 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 <laughs> I'm a bit of a loss over that. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I'm assuming that was an army chaplain there because he was wearing a clerical suit but had a uh, had a medal on him. It actually looked like an Afghanistan campaign medal. Okay, so there's a question of whether I'm involved in any legal challenges to COVID-related laws. Uh, not directly. Um, I'm not involved in any civil lawsuits. I am. Uh, I have been retained by the Justice Center for Constitutional Freedoms to help represent the truckers. Given that criminal law is my specialty, my focus is on giving advice and uh, assisting if any criminal charges arise. And I'm also assisting with representing a number of people who are given tickets for the the heinous crime of going to church during COVID. But those are just you know more individual cases, not a uh, not a um, class action type of suit. Well, okay, now you know the insurrection's really started. We've got Gumby here. Well, I'd like to stop and talk to more people. We got to get down to the podium for uh, for Dr. Hodkinson. 
We still got our entourage with us. Well, the fact that that base is practically knocking me over, maybe that's uh, maybe that's part of the state of emergency. I don't know. Okay, we got some more uh, injunction compliant horns down there from uh, more Quebecers. I think the wind has died down a little bit. Yeah. Either that or it's just, I don't know about you, I, I added another layer, so well, that's, no, that's what I'm feeling fine. There's definitely more people here than there were before lunch. There's way more people here than there were before lunch. <laughs> Yeah, this, this place is hopping compared to this morning. <laughs> yeah, what, once again, as Richard just said, it's party town. I mean, th this is not... There is no evidence here to support allegations of insurrection, racism, intolerance, or anything like that. I hear lots of freedom being yelled. So again, unless, unless we've rebranded freedom as racism, I'm not seeing any racism here. Hey, Bonhomme de Neige. Where is he? There he is. Bonhomme de Neige. <laughs> don't jump like this, don't like I'm trying to swap. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, there's someone else with a red ensign. <coughs> yeah, the fence. The fence at the war memorial is gone. The fence is down. That's interesting, but. And it looks like there's someone's cleaning a bit of snow off the steps of War Memorial, otherwise everyone's just standing out around it respectfully, making sure that no one goes near it and does anything disrespectful to the monument to our war dead. Freedom boy, freedom love Yeah, I need a I need a pair of mittens like that. I could stand out here all day handing out cards and interviewing people with those gloves. <coughs> Well, garbage bags everywhere, as in garbage that's been collected. I'm not seeing any litter on the ground. I mean, I've, I haven't been to Ottawa in peacetime, but I have a feeling downtown Ottawa isn't always this uh, spick and span.
chapter 35 read first. Chapter 35 read first like this. I mean the cleanliness of these sidewalks is almost to the the level of my uh, my friend from Florida who uh, keeps his lawn absolutely immaculate and keeps his uh, his driveway shoveled down to the concrete all the time. Let's go guys. Go Yeah, the crowd's huge. This is the outskirts of the crowd. Richard, once we get up to the speakers, I'm going to try and get up on stage with them yeah, yeah. so I can record properly. Yeah, yeah. We're not going to get much closer. Mike's gonna try and get up on stage, he's not with us. It's okay, I'll keep you on camera. If you YouTube live, it's okay. There's all these Canadian flags, Nicholas. I said no, no. 
seek the truth. And the truth brought me to a man who is one of the few well, people in the Prime Minister of the Prime Minister of the Prime Minister of the Prime Prime Minister of the 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 government doesn't get to decide what goes into your body, you get to decide what goes into your body, and everyone here will leave. Amen. Very, very simple, very quick solution. Amen. I'm just, just saying that in response to one comment on the feed here, viewers were wondering why I'm saying that. There's one comment they had saying we should all just uh, quote this to the Prime Minister as we Tell your former boss to come out. Oh, right, my bad. Now nah, I'm just trolling. Convoy all the way. It was a troll. Ha! We like you. We love you. You're awesome. Follow. Amen. Hello! <laughs> it happens. Yep, good spirits, happy day. Happy day. Oh, oh, flash behind you. It's live on TikTok. Is that TikTok? YouTube. YouTube. Don't talk TV. What's it called? Don't talk TV. Don't he's talk a he's TV. a lawyer. There's a. He's, he's a. a I, I mean, I got a lawyer, but I'll take it. Does he operate a YouTube channel? No, I mean he. Go ahead. <laughs> I got that on tape. Yeah, buddy. Yes, yeah, Dr. Alexander is up on the stage there too. Yep. And Dr. Bowles is great singing there. Yeah, this is amazing. Yep, yep, yep. Well, we clearly didn't plan this well enough. We should have been here very early and stake out by the speakers so we could pick up what he's saying. Sure, it's okay. You want to work around? You want to go? What do you want to do? Charter of Rights and Freedoms, that's what's going to save our lives. Keep that stick up. Picking up any of his speech? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that, that's a that's a true that, comment. That's a very uh, valid comment that uh, one of our viewers just made. Is the people who live in Ottawa? They have the choice to not listen to the horns. They have a choice. They, they like telling us how well it's a choice when yep. you're faced with losing your livelihood for a job. Well, it's your choice whether you want to listen to the horns or not.
speech is totally what I had to learn. <laughs> I know. I don't need to speak. You don't need to speak, yeah. So I'm just thinking the same thing. <laughs>